So here is the start the project that we left off since part two of this four part training series for you. So we just have a very basic UI, a thumbnail and a bunch of title like that, right? So next we want in this video, let's focus on creating that custom cell. The process that we are going to do right now is the same process you are going to do in every single table view app that you want to use a custom cell. And I believe that every single app you use table view most of the time, you want to use custom cell because it is beautiful, it is customizable, and it is not boring like this, okay? So let's move along. Now, let's be, I will cancel this project. What I want to do is first, the first step is always goes into the main storyboard and we will implement the UI for this cell, for this prototype cell. Let's click this cell over here, the prototype cell. And instead of the style to be basic, we want to choose custom. Now we don't have anything here, okay? Next, you can control the height of this cell by dragging like this, okay? You will see there's a handle over here, just drag it like that. But I want to make sure that this cell has 250 point high. So it goes into the size inspector and you have the tail view cell. So we'll change row high to 250 like that. Okay. So first let's have the image here. We have an image like this. Okay. Make sure it is like that. Fills the whole thing. And let's change this image into one. Oh, let's change two. Cool. Next. Now look at the image. It is distorted. So let's we have to change the mode of this view of the image view to be aspect fill. Now if you change it into aspect fit, then it will be very weird like that. Okay. It will not fill the whole thing. So let's change it into aspect fill. Cool. Next, we want to do something more. Now the very, very, the most important thing that in this demo, in this app, you guys will lot, you guys are going to have a lot of troubles, a lot of things that when you run the project, the project, things will not display correctly. Everything will collapse together. Nothing appears or even like your app will crash. Why is that? Because the table view over here, Okay, the cell, it doesn't know what is the height, what is the width of this whole thing. Okay, if we want to specify a custom height, then we have to do auto layout correctly. Okay, we have to do auto layout correctly. So follow along, like be careful with this auto layout stuff. Okay, if you look at the tail view cell over here, it has a content view. This content view will grab around all the UI elements inside this view. And in order to have the correct height, then you have to do auto layout correctly. Okay, so I will select this image over here, go inside the, um, the pin menu over here. So I would uncheck the constraint to margin. Make sure that it is zero point to own the margin. Then we are good to go. Okay. Next, how about I will have a UI view. UI view like this. This UI view, it will be right here. Okay. And moves it like that. And this UI view, I will have it to have the height of 100 point. Actually, it, is, it shouldn't be 100. This one, it should just be 64. Okay, I will select this view, change the height to 64 like that, and move it way down to the bottom like this, okay? Now this view is, go it will not be white anymore because I want to, later on we'll show you how to make this into a gradient view, a gradient view. So that it looks exactly like this, okay? This thing, it has a gradient view over here. It will stand out the content instead of just blend in all the text, all the images inside, in front of, on top of this image, okay? So let's go back here. Make sure that the background right now is white. Just leave it there. Later on, we'll make it until into the gradient view. Okay, you have to do that in code, I believe. Uh, yeah, I 
think that you have to do that in code. So we will show you that in code. Now, in this case, we want to also make sure that we have the auto layouts correctly. So let's select that view, the pin menu, add constraints, okay. We want to make sure the height is 64 and check the constraint to margin. Select these three so it is pinned to the bottom, the left and the right, and add the four constraints. Then we're good to go. Make sure that everything is blue guidelines, not yellow, not red, nothing else. Okay. Next, let's have a UI image. Image here. Put it inside this view. Make sure that it is inside this view. Okay. I know that this is quite hard, but just try, just try, just push yourself. Okay. Just challenge yourself. This photo, this image, let's change into P1. Okay, and then make an aspect feel like that. And we want to change the width and height to 32. Okay, and change the Y to zero like that. Then we have 32 and I will align it right in the middle like this. Okay, right now, again, it is a square. Later on, we'll show you how to make it into, an, uh, into a circle like this, okay? So let's auto layout to this guy. It's the same pattern, adding a new UI, an element, add auto layout, okay? So for this, let's top left and right, the width and the height, and add the constraints, cool? Make sure you do it correctly, otherwise things will turn really, really bad. Now if you have any questions, feel free to post it right down below and I will try to um, help you as soon as possible, okay? Next, let's have some label, UI label here, so that we have these texts, like that, okay. I will go back into the photos here so that I can have these crazy texts. Change the label, the text of label, into this, okay. And then we want to make sure that it is going like that, boom. Okay, now for that one, if you look at the final project, we just have two lines. So let's change it into two lines. Okay, the one, one. You can do it as multiple lines if you love to. Um, later on in the future videos in Total Iris Blueprint, we'll show you that because auto layouts, there's a lot of things out with auto layout. So I will make sure that I drag it like this. Okay, then things is good. Let's add auto layout for this guy. Top, left, and right, and bottom. Add the constraint. And it's good, everything is blue, everything is good to go. Cool. Now, the next step is, the first one is design the cell UI. The next step is create a custom class for the UI table view cell. It is a subclass of UI table view cell. 